Well, on tonight's Golden Apple, Bemidji Elementary School children yet to learn to dance along with Native American rhythms in school. Our reporter, Brenda Mack, has more on the story. Flute music filled the gymnasium of Northern Elementary, and within minutes, Native Pride dancers burst into their routine with powwow music prompting kids to clap to their rhythm. The group is led by Larry Yazzie, a Native American fancy dance champion. Coming from the Meskwaki tribe, he's been dancing all over the world, hoping to bring awareness and break stereotypes. We bridge, we bridge the, the cultures, and by bridging the cultures together, we have a better understanding of who we are as different cultures being represented in that, in that community. Yezi soon shared his dance with the kids. He says by sharing his story, it will create a cycle. One or two of those kids will go home and they're going to still feel that spirit that they felt on stage or in the gymnasium. And they're going to go home and tell their mom and dads. And maybe they could educate them as well. And some members of their group have been dancing since they started walking. And they hope to continue inspiring other kids and friends of their age. We dance to show other people how it's important to us and what our tribe does. It feels cool because I can, if they don't dance, I can show them how much fun it is to dance, and that's why I dance. The school principal also stressed on the importance of diversity. She says it fosters compassion and provides a better understanding of cultures. It was just a joy today to see students put on their jingle dresses and to get up there and you get to see them differently and get to see them um, with some of the sure in their background and who they are and the joy that they took and the energy that they had. So it was just really fabulous to watch. Music and dance is, is healing, is, is also brings the good medicine to the people. Yazi also says events like these help Native American students feel belong. For this week's Golden Apple, Brandon Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.